All right, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I'm here today for a quick little update and tutorial video on how to fix the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 crashing issue and glitch post the leap day of February 29th of 2020. Now, any day continuing after this will end up crashing the game. Uh, it still hasn't been fixed. Uh, I haven't really seen anything from Bandai or uh, any update on whenever this will get fixed. Uh, I think there is going to be a patch here pretty soon in, you know, the next couple of weeks or something. Not exactly sure if that's actually, you know, a thing or not, but uh, hopefully it is. I'll be sure to update you guys if anything does uh, come through. But for now, if you are on the PC version, what you need to do is uh, you need to actually get this new little, okay, maybe it's not new, but like this little software. It's a little application that you download. Um, there's no viruses or anything. Uh, big shout out to Halloween Pandas for figuring this out. So I'm going to link this link right here uh, down in the description. You guys just need to click on it. So uh, it's going to open up this link right here. So it's called um, Nersoft or something like that. Run is date. That is the application. So basically what this does is it can, you know, program an application to run on a specific day and time uh, of year and everything. So uh, you have two little links down here whenever you scroll all the way down. So here's the top. So I just recommend scrolling all the way down. So you have download run as date and then you have it for, uh, you know, if you have 64 bit or whatever. So uh, that's what I did. I did this one. Uh, I don't really think it matters all that much. Just make sure, you know, you are using the one that is compatible with your PC. So after you download that, you're actually going to uh, extract it. So uh, obviously you need WinRAR. Most people have WinRAR and everything, so I'm not gonna go through all that. Uh, you just download WinRAR, you install it, and then you know you can just right click and extract the file and it'll make a folder right here. So as you can see, you're gonna have this application. It's called Run As Date. So go ahead and double click that. Then from here, what you want to do is you wanna go click on Browse. And then you want to go through all of where your bin folder is in the Steam Apps Xenoverse 2 directory. So that's going to be in, uh, it's actually in the PC local disk and you go to program files and you go to Steam. Then you go to the Steam Apps, which is all the way down here. And then you want to go to common and then you want to go to Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. And then you want to go into the bin folder and you want to run this application right here. Uh, most likely if you're on PC or whatever, it doesn't matter which one if you want to use uh, the one at start here in the Xenoverse 2 folder. I recommend doing the bin folder version because most people that are watching this do have mods. Uh, if you don't, then again, you can try out the one uh, from the uh, start here, the application in uh, the Xenoverse 2 folder. But uh, I went ahead and just did the bin folder again, which, whichever one you want to do. But uh, you just go ahead and you open that one up right there. And then you want to set your date to the 27th of 2020. So you can click this little calendar here to help you out if you're having any issues, if it's you know too confusing for you. And then you just, uh, you know, I guess it would be on, what is today, March 2nd. So uh, you're going to go all the way down and then you want to go on February 27th. Boom, easy, time doesn't matter. Uh, you don't need to, you know, move with any of this. I think this box right here will be ticked or whatever. Uh, I would just recommend unticking it. Just have everything just plain, base, normal. And then you want to go ahead and click the uh, run on it. And then it'll open it up uh, through Steam or whatever, um, depending on whichever version that you have installed completely. So give it a second. And as you guys saw down there, um, it was on the uh, you know date today, March 2nd. Um, real quick, I do want to apologize for the voice. Still trying to recover, but uh, I'm just going to kind of walk through all of this and show you guys that it does actually work here. So I know that was very loud. I do apologize. So as you can see, this is where it normally crashes and boom, it does not crash at all. You know, you have everything pretty much working uh, officially easy, no problem at all. And you can go into the game and play and everything. So um, hopefully this little video was helpful. Again, big shout out to Halloween Pandas and the modding community for this. Um, I'm gonna link them down below. You guys can go check them out. And um, if you have any questions or concerns, let me know down below. Um, if it's anything related to mods, specifically how to install mods, uh, honestly, don't bother asking about that. I have a different video. You guys just search up on my channels how to install mods on uh, Xenoverse 2 in 2020. But this is the fix currently right now until Bandai or Dimps actually uh, gets this out here. This will be your permanent fix. It doesn't screw up uh, Google Chrome or anything like it does whenever you actually 
manually change the date. It manually just automatically changes the date specifically for the Xenoverse 2 game application within Steam. So you don't have to worry about anything else being altered, okay? All right, have a great day and uh, I love y'all. Peace.